Oh my gosh. All these pieces. Um, where the heck do I start? I mean, like, I hate doing a project when, yeah, you get a few pieces together and you realize, oh my gosh, you're going to take this apart and this, oh, this has to go behind that. Oh, not, I got to take it apart. No, I glued it together. And now it won't come apart. Now I'm breaking the pieces. Oh my gosh. How the heck do I know where to start? Like, what piece of, oh, look, instructions. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, step one, step two, step three. So please, I implore you, read these first, go through them, step by step by step, before you touch anything, before you glue or screw anything, read these and know that step one, step two, step three is in your head before you start step one. It's very important to know that, oh, if I do step one, it will lead to step two. And by the time you do one chair, you'll be turning to the right, to the people working next to you and going, dude, don't do that. No, nope, that comes next. You got to do step one first. And what you will see is instructions matter. No matter what your father or your uncle says, instructions matter. Um, you know, what's funny about instructions, not only do they matter to follow, it matters how they were created in the first place. So if you have a set of instructions made by somebody who's in a hurry, you're screwed. <laughs> so if you're the one who's writing instructions for someone later to, to do something, or you find yourself in a position at a company that you work for, where they're asking you, you know what, you know what you're doing, why don't you write this down so that you can teach other people? Uh, it's actually a pretty high, in, in high demand kind of thing uh, to make a list. Because remember what I said to you guys um, quite some time ago, that there's a lot of people in this world who are approaching their careers in a way that I'm not a big fan of. Um, and it's that, well, people are hiring people now who know how to do the job, but they don't know the job. And if you are the type of person who knows the job and can explain it to somebody else, you're the person that they can't get rid of because you've become invaluable. If you know just how to follow instructions, that's kind of the entry level type thing. So what I'm asking you guys to do is pay attention to the instructions. And if you find that there's a better way, let me know. But I want you guys to become familiar with not just um, how to put a chair together, but how to follow instructions. And then how to create instructions step by step that will demonstrate how well you understand something. If you can explain it or teach it to somebody else, you know it really well. But if somebody asks you a question and you're like, uh, I'm not sure, then you don't know it. So please remember that. And again, getting back to this, step one. Well, what do we have as step one? Step one is attach the center slat to the lower section, which one is that? To the lower section, boom, and the upper section, boom, and we go from there. That's step one, and it even tells you exactly what screws to use. These are the two inch screws, because it goes into the thick part of the back here. Anyway, step one, step two, step three, and before long, a chair manifests before you and you can step back and say, hey mom, look what I can do. And that's what this is all about. And making big bucks. Now I saw these chairs on sale, not on sale, but for sale for 150 bucks. Not bad. When we start selling them to the public, for those of you who are going to be here for next semester, when we start selling them to the public, I'm thinking 80 bucks. We make these 35 to $40 in materials. $40 is the markup, not a bad 100% markup. Uh -huh. um, it's kind of exciting how much money we can raise with this. I think we will have more of a trouble, more trouble keeping up with demand than, um, than we expect. So anyway, 